hey hi this is admin from admin 365 and today we are going to talk about how to create room mailboxes in office 365 let's get started so before we go ahead and create a room mailbox let's see the functionality or the requirement of a room mailbox room mailbox is required when you have a office which has a common room which people can book accordingly for their personal meetings room mailboxes in office 365 can represent a particular room in your office people can book according to their needs and it will basically show the employees whether the room is booked or available for them to host something there so uh, let's go ahead and create a room mailbox in office 365 uh, for us to create a room mailbox we have to be a global admin or an exchange admin what we'll do is we will go to office.com and then sign in with the admin account once you are on this page, you should see the admin tile here on the left. If you don't see it, uh, you can click on the nine dots and then look for admin. Once you click on it, it should open the Microsoft 365 admin center. And you just have to click on show all here and then look for exchange. All the admin center which you see here uh, depends on the role which is assigned to your account. So you might not see every admin center which I see here. Just look for exchange and click on exchange. In here, we'll click on recipients and under that, we'll click on resources. And here you can see the option to, to add a room resource. We'll click on it and we'll provide all the information which is required to create a room mailbox. So we'll go ahead and fill all of them here and uh, this is the name that would be seen by everyone so we'll name it common area for example we have a place in the office which is called common area where people can book according to their timings and we'll give it a name uh, email address we'll remove the space so the email address would be common area at domain.com we'll select the domain and hit next capacity is basically the capacity the room can hold uh, we can add it depending on the size of the room the area of the room for now i will just add four you can set up the location whether it is on the first floor second floor or accordingly you can set up a phone number if it has a common phone number i will keep it as blank you can set department you can set up company name And you can keep the policy to be blank. You can keep the policy to be no policy. You can select the street. You can fill in the city. You can fill in the state, zip, and the country region according to the room. And then hit next this is the place where we can set up all the necessary settings for the room mailbox as as you can see here uh, it is basically self-explanatory uh, the first option says that uh, choose when and how this resource should be scheduled uh, whether you want a repeating meetings to be booked whether you want bookings to be only done during working hours and third option is basically to adhere 
the limits which is below booking windows is of by default 180 days maximum duration for a meeting or a booking is 24 hours you can reduce it if you want and you can set a automatic reply when, whenever a booking has been done the third third option is booking delegates if you want uh, the meeting to be automatically accepted or declined you can simply select this or if you want a moderator or a person who can accept and decline meeting request and accept them accordingly you can simply select this and then provide the person's email address so anytime someone tries to book uh, this particular room it will send a email to this person which will be mentioned here and they would have the option whether to select it to approve it or deny it usually what we do is we select it automatically any meeting request sent to this room would be automatically accepted or declined depending on the meeting time or if there is already a meeting present then it will decline it automatically and we'll hit next you can review the information in here and then click on create and this can take a minute or so as you can see so now the room mailbox has been successfully created we can hit done and now if you go ahead and send a meeting request to this room it would book it automatically if it is free at the requested time if there is already a meeting schedule then it would decline the request you can give it a test you can create a test room mailbox and then give it a try and if there is any modification needed according to your requirement you can simply come back here and edit the room settings as per your requirement so do let me know if you have any question about this uh, you can drop it in the comment section and you have a nice tip bye take care